So how we define air conditioning? Air conditioning is the science of simultaneous control of temperature, humidity, air, porosity and purity of air. Psychometry is that which studies the property of what? Moist air. That is called as? So we have the model of what? The moist air. So moist air is consist of two part. First part is called as dry air. Short form use is DA. And second part is water vapor. The moisture present in the air is called as water vapor short form use is wv so we have two constituent one is dry air and one is water vapor the molecular mass of dry air is approximately equals to 28.96 and molecular mass of water vapor is around 18 how this 28.96 comes because your air is consist of two constituent one is oxygen and other is nitrogen the molecular mass of oxygen is what 32 nitrogen is 14 into 2 is what 28 on mass basis oxygen present is around 70 70 percent oxygen present is approximately equals to what 23 percent and this one is what point Seven, seven. Find out this product, add this product that is your molecular mass. So approximately is 28.92 and the corrected value is 28.96. So correction is approximately 0 0.04 because other stresses are also produced. And this one is approximately equal to 18. Why 18? Because we have H2 plus O. H2 is what? 2. Oxygen is what? 16. So total is what? 18. This one is RMM. This one is relative molecular mass. The universal gas constant is represented by R bar and its fixed value is 831 joules per mole per Kelvin. The gas constant for air, gas constant for air is universal gas constant R bar upon relative molecular mass. R bar is 8314 and gas constant is uh, relative molecular mass is 28.96. So this answer is very close to 287. Similarly, we have R for water vapor. Formula is same. So we have 8314. Molecular mass of water vapor is around 18. So what is 8314 divided by? So this answer is 461.8 joules per kg per Kelvin. So just remember RMM because you require this in thermodynamics also. R bar is what? 8314. 8314 divided by 28.96 is gas constant. You are familiar with 287. Any constant you can find out dividing by R bar with the relative molecular mass. The temperatures that is required for air conditioning are dry bulb, wet bulb and dew point are represented on this TS diagram. So this one is called as the vapor, the water vapor in vapor state. At this point, it's a liquid state. At this point is a solid state that is ice. So this one is air. If you cool this air at constant pressure, so this one is constant pressure line, then at this point, your pressure line and temperature line will same. So this temperature is called as dew point temperature. Dew point temperature is that temperature at which the first time the vapor is in the form of what liquid so this one is saturate condition and the corresponding pressure here is called as pv is the saturation pressure at dew point temperature and if you cool this air at constant enthalpy if you cool this air at constant enthalpy then corresponding to this we have one more pressure line pressure line will always go in this form corresponding temperature is called as the wet bulb temperature and this pressure is represented by PSW which is a saturation pressure at wet bulb. This one is PSH at WBT. And if you come along the horizontal line that is along the isothermal process then what is the temperature recorded here is called as the dry bulb temperature. And if you try to show the pressure line the pressure line will be like this. So this pressure is called as PSD. PSD stands for what? Saturation pressure correspond to what dry bulb where the pressure lines and inside the dome pressure and the temperature are identical line suppose we have a thermometer here and we have a sensing part so this is sense part it is a bulb of thermometer keep this thermometer under the shade then whatever the reading comes will be called as if you cover this with some muslin cloth so this one is muslin cloth and over this you allow the air to flow around 300 meter per minute then this water will evaporate then whatever the temperature is called as a wet bulb temperature and dew point temperature is that temperature at which the first time we have that is the water vapor first time get condensed rh or called as relative humidity is is represented by phi symbol phi it is defined as the partial pressure of water vapor divided by the saturation pressure at 
travel that is this value of PV divided by PSD. Now PV is always less than PSD so this value is always in fraction so therefore always multiplied by 100 and is expressed in terms of percentage. Your point that is this point is in the vapor region suppose this point lies in this region at this point and for this point is the dry bulb temperature is same as what wet bulb temperature is same as what dew point temperature because all the pressure lines will come to the same point and in this case the value of PV will be same equals to what value of PSD so this point represents phi equals to what 100 so maximum possible value of phi is equals to what 100 one is called as saturation state if air is dry if for dry air there is no moisture if there is no moisture there is no question of what pv so value of pv equals to what zero so pv is zero then phi is also equals to what zero so minimum value of phi will be equals to zero for dry air for moist air that is the saturated air phi is equals to what one that is 100 percent next term is humidity ratio or specific humidity is normally represented by lower case letter w is defined as the mass of water vapor upon mass of dry air this is not a dimensionless quantity remember one huh? so unit of this quantity is kg of water vapor per kg of dry air and anytime you want to find out mass of water you should multiply the specific humidity the mass of air in that case you will get kg of water vapor and if you know the mass flow rate of air then you can find out mass flow rate of water vapor so this time then it will become kg of water vapor per second one equation is used for ideal gas is pv equals to what mrt so there m equals to what pv divided by rt so i know the ratio of mass of water vapor upon mass of dryer i will stand for what so suppose we have this one is air conditioning room is this air conditioning room is filled with dryer is the volume occupied by the dry air is same as the volume of the room in the same room uh, water vapor also so is the volume occupied by the water vapor is also same as we the so volume of water vapor is same as what volume of dry air secondly what is the reading of temperature here is the temperature of dry air same as the temperature of water vapor so if we come back to this equation this value of m equal to pv by rt that i am going to put here partial pressure of vapor divided by volume of vapor divided by r of vapor divided by temperature of vapor multiplied by r of air temperature of air divided by pressure of air and the volume of air volume of water vapor is same as volume of dry air temperature of water vapor is same as temperature of dry air we left with what pv divided by rv what is rv rv is what 461 multiplied by ra RA is what 287 divided by what PA so we can very well solve for 287 divided by 461.8 that value will come out to be 0 0.622 is PV divided by PA so we have two constant here one is called as dry air and one constant is what water vapor so what is the Dalton's law of partial pressure the Dalton's law of partial pressure says that the total pressure that is this room pressure must equal to its constituent pressure that equal to what plus pressure of that is so if i replace pv here then is my pv equals to p atmospheric minus pa or i can replace my pa p atmospheric minus of pv so i will go for this substitution in this equation so my final equation will come 0.622 pv will be as it is and pa is replaced by using dalton's law of partial pressure that equals to what p atmospheric minus pv remember this formula this formula is for specific humidity having unit equal to what kg of water vapor per kg of dry air so let's take the example of this one what compressor so as far as compressor is there is the sp pressure p1 is less than the pressure p2 so suppose this pressure is 1 bar and suppose this pressure is what 5 bar so if you want to find out the w quantity here then you have to use atmospheric pressure equal to what p1 so it is better to write p mix so then normally we avoid this term so you want to apply this equation at this point then what is the value of p mix is phi bar and if you have another component there that is called as after cooler remember after cooler is, is cool for hot air so that the density will increase pressure will remain same this one is a hot air maybe around 200 degrees celsius in the after cooler the heat is get rejected and the temperature may brought to what 40 degrees celsius so in this case if the density is equals to p by rt temperature has decreased 
so density has been increased if we have a storage vessel here then is the density increase we can store more quantity of air that is why the air is always cooled down before storing in the reservoir so we can utilize more capacity of reservoir enthalpy of mixture is given by h is basically expressed as kilojoules per kg of dry air it is calculated using c multiplied by dry bulb temperature plus 2500 2500 is a latent heat of water at 0 degree celsius plus 1.88 this one is specific heat of water vapor multiplied by dry temperature multiplied by w so this is a slightly complicated formula the temperature here is compulsory in degree celsius 1.88 is cp of water vapor cp of air is normally equals to 1.005 this answer is also 1.88 is kilojoules per kg per kelvin kilojoules per kg per kelvin even it is kelvin it is same as per degree celsius also so this time it is degree celsius so your answer will come as kilojoules kg of and if you want to calculate no don't remember this formula but these are the additional formula what is cp of mixture if they ask you then you have to just take the cp of air plus the humidity multiplied by cp of water vapor that is this quantity 1.88 on this point is the water is in the form of liquid state afterwards the water is in the form of what vapor state the moisture is present in vapor form the moisture will condense first time here so this one is called as saturation curve at this curve is the value of phi is equal to 100 percent for this curve value of phi is equal to what 100%. What are the value of what are the value of W at this point is okay, which is defined equals to what W is equals to what 0.622 PV upon P mix that is atmospheric minus PV that is this pressure. If the same point is shift to this point, is it a saturated point? In that case, is the value of PhD will become PV if the point is shifted from this point to this point. So initially the point is what? This point. Is it a wet condition? And this point is called as saturate condition. To account for this one, we define one term <coughs> called as the degree of supersaturation. Supersaturation is represented by mu. It is the ratio of the specific humidity at this point. What is the specific humidity at this point? Is it 0.622? What is the pressure at this point is PV upon or P mix is one and same divided by at this point. So this time PV will become equal to what? PhD because this condition is what? Saturated. For saturated condition, dry well, wet well are same. So we have 0.622. This is PhD upon P atmospheric minus PhD. For ordinary condition, dry well is always greater than wet well. Always greater than what? Dew point. PV is the lowest pressure. PhD is the higher pressure. Lower pressure divided by higher pressure is the value of phi. Point is vapor state, this point is liquid state. So this one is saturation and this one equal to what? Value equal to phi. Minimum value of phi is 0 for dryer, maximum value is equal to 100. And enthalpy is given as H into Cp of air into dry bulb temperature plus 2500 plus 1.88 which is Cp of what? Water vapor multiplied by dry bulb. Normal mistake is that you have habit of taking Kelvin. In air conditioning, you should take equal to what? Degree Celsius. Dalton's law of partial pressure is given by the total pressure equal to the pressure of its constituent. Let's remember this word. So, how many constants are there? You write down and that will be the total pressure. And W is given by 0.622 PV divided by P mix minus PV. Now, this data, either you calculate this one or it is available on a standard graph that is called as psychometric chart. So, this one is psychometric chart. 